you know guys I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of mix and match with uh, this video that I'm about to share with you all so this actually happened at Mount Oreo and, and um, this is the lawlessness that we keep talking about and this is the sort of image that these guys have been creating for Sierra Leone across the international globe you know across the international world and this is what people see and say oh my goodness is this really happening because it's unbelievable in this 21st century for you to see government officials, a whole minister, the minister of lands, Denis Sandi, minister of lands, would actually take military officers. First of all, these guys have actually, you know, violated their oath, you know, because the military has no business with enforcing land laws in Sierra Leone. And then these guys would also go a step further by taking thugs, you know, and giving them machetes, what you call, we call them cutlass, you know, machetes, and you'll see, I'll, I'll share the video with you all so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But these are the images that these guys have created for our country, and it is so sad because people like us that are sane and sober-headed, the only way we can stop this nonsense and this quagmire is to call the attention of everybody to say this is what is happening and it needs to stop. We are living in a civilized world. We are living in the 21st century. We see the craziness going on across the world. We are not going to let that happen. Let me tell you guys this. In Sierra Leone, we had a brutal, you know, 10-year rebel war. Thousands of Sierra Leoneans lost their lives. Why? Because these same guys that are in power, the Alikabas, these Marabios and all these people, they went to the bushes to fight because they said they were tired with oppression. They said they were being suppressed. And all of that stuff. So they said that's why they took up arms because the same SLPP in power today, I want to paint this picture for everybody in the international community. These are the guys in 1965, the Milton Magais. They actually brought this constitution where they changed the constitution for it to be a one party state. Unfortunately, they lost the elections. And once they lost the elections, Shaka Stevens, who became the president, actually just enjoyed the change of constitution and at their own demise. So they took that, they were in opposition for over 20 some years. And they said, well, okay, the only way we can get out of this to have a multi-party state was for them to go back to the bushes so that they can fight a rebel war that cost the lives of innocent thousands of Leoneans. Innocent lives. Up to now, we have vestiges of that war. People's hands, you know, being cut off, being maimed, and, uh, you know, women's pregnant, pregnant women's stomach being opened and all of that stuff. But yet these guys are applying these same, you know, you know, uh, uh, rugged tactics this archaic bushman kind of mentality using the military and using thugs giving them machetes and classes to attack innocent citizens because of what land but listen to the videos for yourself and see the videos you know it's very chaotic but this is what is happening and we're gonna start we're gonna keep calling these things out until these guys stop creating these terrible images for our country enough is enough watch the video for yourself his excellency Brigadier retired Marabio will not be happy to see this because he wants to see where public servants like the minister should behave in a very decent way and help Sierra Leoneans to get land. Not to come here and perpetrate violence and also, like my brother said, doing what I will call land grabbing in broad daylight. I think the minister should be at the center to help every Sierra Leonean to obtain land in a very peaceful way. There are policies as to how to acquire land, which I think the minister ought to know. Coming here with um, um, armed personnel is also very, very unfortunate because every bullet is being paid for by ordinary Sierra Leoneans. This is a taxpayer's money. For any military personnel to be very, very reckless, to take a, an instruction from a minister to kill or shoot at any Sierra Leonean, that's unfortunate. And I'm speaking also to the head of the military to take decisive action. Otherwise, our civil society will mobilize one million manpower to come out in the streets within 24 hours if the president fell to take a very decisive decision on this matter. It is too much. <laughs> Chairman Kabi look all the area right now in Wam. Cause last Sunday in the Bobo de Mississippi.
The community on a candongo, on a the elders them. It is also fed. This is all. New new customers then the bobo they saw them all out. What then the feds then say? What the form? The form? The form? Oh, that's when they can go both defense and cana. And no ever kaya. The man no ever kaya. The man no ever kaya. He can't in one. And the car will they see the minister, the minister if the minister not come, the deputy the minister, the car. The day where he become where the, the lawyers and come into instant if we now go. The other day the deputy minister come. The deputy minister now before me he give instruction, made an open firing. Now in the open firing, I go. Yesterday the same thing, now you occur back and cow. They, they give people and cuts, that's all. Make people and they watch. No, no, they allow self for made video. They want to carry all in the hole. They open want to carry and cut last and they then get talks the inside day. Where then they work out? And where then they we no want again for happening at this country. The, the killer will not be done away in a year. Who is here? Where we not go? We then are Salonia. We not go no side. Like we now this month and now we no more left here. We tell them we no go. We know it's in a rebel war. So we know the ones from men and they have been in a rebel So if the school they are beginning and the school beginning and they are in fire, near the beginning and the school. So we know we know how to We know how to be. 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 This is a private property. Make this to solve one and for all. This is a private property. This is a state line. I tell you, I'm going to thank you, sir. We know how to agree. It's a private property, and I will this construction now, and no, we we'll, we'll still continue left. Yeah, we'll 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 All right, guys. So you've seen the video, and it speaks volumes. It is a shame. It is a disgrace. And up to now, we haven't heard nothing from the president. This president has not taken any disciplinary actions against this minister. This minister has been doing the same thing again and again and again and again. This is not like it's a brand new thing. This is something we've been calling out for so long. These are the images these guys are creating for our beautiful country called Sierra Leone in the international world. We should, Sierra Leone, back under President Alice by Koroma, we were one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. Actually, the second most peaceful country in Africa. But yet these guys, they've changed all that. You guys see exactly what's happening. And this is the problem that we have. Chairman, can you look all the area right now? You want? For the last stone, then the bobo, then you sit there. And exercise the constitutional rights, the process, the peace. Ask the government. Stop this